for sure parents, when they first walk in with their child, they don't know and they cannot know what it involves and what it entails to become a professional ballet dancer. Preparation. You have to start with the foundation. You have to start with perfect positions. You have to start with musicality. You have to install posture. You have to install the right way to hold hand on the bar, the right way to hold your head. It's a slow process again. It's, a, it's a mentoring them every single day, during the exercise, in between. Little by little, I make class a little bit more demanding and professional. And uh, young boys, of course, they can't stand at the bar sometimes, and I can see them struggling and suffering. And, but the, the challenge, they start learning. They see other boys in the class who are trying and it's there is a little competition going on and that's why it's very important for boys from the beginning to study with other boys i feel extremely responsible for every one of my students you you have to build the trust as a teacher around the trees you have to build the trust as a man as an individual I've been in the field of uh, ballet pedagogy uh, since 1989, uh, teaching boys and young men classical ballet. It's imperative to have a boys program. You cannot, again, put the boy and in the class with girls every day, because boys' technique is very different. When we watch male ballet dancer, their bodies, their legs, their muscles develop differently. Their jumps higher, their all uh, their pirouettes, different dynamic, and they have to lift girls, they have to be strong. And that's why it's very important for boys from the beginning to study with other boys. They feed off each other's energy and they trying to compete. And then little by little you start discipline and uh, the, the love for uh, hard work. It's either you have position in there or you don't. It's either you're, you know, Head is working or it's kind of working. It's like I'm flying the plane or I'm kind of flying it. You will never want to fly with a pilot like this. They start learning how their body is working harder, getting better, they're turning faster, they're jumping higher. So they get inspired. Longer neck chin up. I was uh, dancing with Kirov Ballet and uh, I was doing uh, soloist and principal roles and basically danced the entire classical ballet repertoire. I choreographed, I was putting shows together. So all this knowledge is actually helping me to pass all this knowledge to the younger generation because when I teach uh, boys ballet, I'm not only teaching them how to do steps. I have to install this idea of what quality is. Because you think the most important thing is to jump high and to turn more, but the most important is quality, not the quantity. Not how high you jump, but how beautiful your position is there. And what is the ethics of the professional ballet environment is, where you have to apply yourself day after day after day after day and you will know yourself who you are as a dancer. The most of the time you spend in the ballet studio and you have to really love it and you have to be dedicated, you have to be challenged by it, it has to be interesting for you to come every single day and spend hours upon hours upon hours perfecting yourself. And that's the ballet profession. I 
always tell my students, don't look at me and wait for praises. I'm here to give you realistic expectation and to help you to be the best dancer you can possibly be. Uh, if I see that they're being a little bit discouraged, I will uh, always to try to uplift them. But again, I want to build their character. They have to have very strong character in this profession. So hold your elbows, hold, strong body. Your body keeps moving, like it has no muscles whatsoever. When I see a young person striving for something and determined, and I will do anything it takes to help them to achieve their dream. I've lived in this country for 25 years and I've seen very, very many talented boys who, in my opinion, didn't achieve their potential. And the reason they didn't achieve their potential because they didn't have either the program that dedicated only to boys or they didn't have right teachers who know what they're talking about. I want to give them a chance and place where they can, if they have talent and they have dreams, to have a place where they can achieve it. Some people may think that uh, ballet is not for boys, that this is for girls. That cannot be farther from the truth. If these people would come to my ballet class and would see how masculine, muscular, athletic, demanding physically, mentally, the program is, there would be no questions that this is one of the most athletic, challenging, and uh, masculine professions in the world. Uh, I consider ballet is the most complex art form. Not only you involve your entire body, you also have to think, you have to act, you have to hear the music, you have to perform the role. Let's compare it, for example, with any sports where you have to jump high or lift something heavy. Nobody cares about your facial expression. Your facial expression can be anything. Where in ballet, you have to portray the role and you have to leap high or lift ballerina and smile at the same time or show that it's effortless. And you have to teach this to students starting at the ballet bar. Musicality and artistry, it's another layer. Ballet education is not complete without the student understanding how to hear the music, how to be musical, what is musical phrase, how musical phrase goes with choreographic phrase. And it's all installed day by day, because again, when uh, your entire body try to hear the music stay with the rhythm and uh, what we call musicality, your entire body is making music. And that's another demand that a uh, uh, beautifully trained classical ballet dancer, Vaganova style, have to possess. So another level of complexity, of course, is to, uh, when it comes to partnering and when the boys are supporting ballerina and presenting ballerina, and it's their responsibility to hold her on balance, to hurt hold her on her leg from the jumps to bring her down so she's not landing uh, harshly and injuring herself. So it's, uh, you're not only responsible for yourself, you're responsible for a uh, ballerina you're partnering. Also, if you're dancing in the group, there is, you have to be aware of your surroundings. You cannot run into another couple or into another dancer. So all this together, it brings this tremendous level of complexity. And that's why it's very important, not only for guys to be in their ballet class, but to constantly have interaction with, with girl partners, with ballerinas. Learn how to, again, uh, present and help them to be on stage. Four, five. I often tell my students, 
Mm? When you become ballet dancer, you are not a normal, regular person anymore. You have to become a creature. You have to become a, sp a specimen that is extremely strong, graceful, powerful, artistic, musical. Again, you have to create with your presence on stage a dream for people to want to come and be willing to pay uh, prices of the ticket. When you go on stage, you are not a regular person, especially classical ballet dancer. You have to have to, to create something with your dance, with your presence, with your expression. So you're definitely not a normal person. I always encourage to, be, to dream big. By challenging them in class, again, I believe it disciplines them and it gives them qualities. It develops their character. Uh, not to look for an easy way out, but to, again, have a dream and follow the dream. You finished all what big, uh, gives me the biggest joy is when I see the success of my students. It can be on the stage or it can be just in ballet class. It can be in the big role, or it can be a little small elements. They, can, they worked hard for hours and hours and hours and finally they get it. And when they start seeing the beauty in this art form, when they start to understand how to come on stage, command attention, how to be that, that, that dream that people want to go see. To me, that uh, gives the biggest pleasure.